So the homework asks us to say x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. And it says, here's your polynomial function. Here's a factor. Okay? If this is a factor, find the remaining factors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you, it says it's a factor, right? So if that's a factor, that means when I use synthetic division, I'm going to get a remainder of 0, right? If, if I plug in f of negative 1, I'm going to have that equal to 0, right? Now, we could just plug in f of negative 1 and know it's going to get 0, but that's not going to help us out because what the question is asking is find the remaining factors, right? We want to find all the factors. When we factor 12, we say, oh, it's 4 times 3. Remember, a lot of times we talk about linear factorization. Break it down to its smallest list of factors. 4 times 3, yes, you factor 12, but did you factor it completely? No, you could factor it down further, right? 4 times 3, you could break down into 2 times 2 times 3, right? So when we say, I want to find all of the factors, I want you to break this down as far as we possibly can. And what we're going to do is we want to break it down into what we call linear factors. So the first thing is, let's make sure that this is a factor. So I say x plus 1 equals 0. So we do negative 1, and we're going to apply synthetic division. So we're going to apply synthetic division to prove that it's a factor. We could also do f of, f of negative 1. All right? And we could see that it's going to equal 0. We know that's going to equal 0 if it's a factor. However, I'll show you why there's going to be a difference, why we're not going to want to use this method to prove it's a factor. So we'll do 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Bring down the 1. OK, did we just prove it's a factor? Yes. yes, good. So remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. OK, ladies and gentlemen, if we were just to plug in f of negative 1, our answer was going to get 0, which would, yes, tell us that it's a factor, but it doesn't give us any remaining factors. When we do synthetic division, we prove that it's a factor because it has a remainder of 0, but then we also get our, um, our, div our answer, our quotient, which then what we can do is we can divide this further, can, or we can factor this further. Can we factor x? Not always can we factor further, but can we factor x squared plus x minus 2 further? Yeah. yeah. So we factor this further to give us x plus 2 times x minus 1. And then if it says list all of the factors, we know that's a factor. That's a factor. And then our original factor is now going to be x plus 1. Okay? So when I say determine if it's a factor and then list all the remaining factors, that's what I'm going to do. Yes, Yari? If it doesn't come out to 0, you just put not factor. Then, well, you could say that's not a factor. You could say, oh, your original problem that you gave me is not a factor.